Alright, welcome back to Rogue Tech, and welcome back to the Challenge Run Mark II. So, if you will allow me a moment to shill. I would really appreciate if you check out, on the first, my devlog that I'm releasing where I announce my game's title, and give the elevator pitch, and if you're not interested after you watch that, then... Okay, thanks for watching it at least. Um, hopefully it's interesting to you, and even if you don't care in the slightest, I would really appreciate the watch time, just so YouTube will promote it more and kind of push it out there. Um, also, I'm going to start streaming come August, so pay attention to the polls over the next month, and we're going to figure out what you all would like to most watch of the things I'm interested in playing. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into it. We are currently on a planet with a lot of mechs available, and a lot of meat available to throw in those mechs. So we're just going to jump straight in, Come on in, and we are going to start with this five skull blackout. So this should be fun. Six skulls against one of the major uh, intersphere factions, and what are we going to drop on it? We can only drop four mechs? No, no that's right. You can drop six mechs, but it can only be up to 400 tons. So we're going to drop, I think, the crab. Paradox is good. Yeah, Paradox is good. Alright, Crab with Aether. Um, I want to give Little Bunny a shot, just to see how it works. And um, it doesn't move very well, but it does have the jump jets. And I really don't want it getting completely dismantled, so... Yeah, we're going to toss Perun on there, so that we get the extra 2 evasion. I don't think it's capable of generating max evasion, so the Cautious will definitely generate the evasion. I don't really care about whether or not the tag and lasers hit, that's not going to be the final weapon loadout, but I'm mostly just wanting to see how it works, and whether or not it's, you know, viable to keep the jump jets on. Or if I can just drop the jump jets and use that tonnage for better weaponry. Um, we're at two. Cicada bumps us up to two and a half. It is a very reliable mech for us to drop. And can we bring the Locust as well? Yes, we can. So we're going to give Kamea the Locust. Hopefully she doesn't die. Yep. Alright, so... I'm going to be completely transparent here. I am dropping the Locust, hoping that it will soak damage for next that I care about. Uh, yeah, if the Locust happens to explode, cool, we already have the Ostrock we want to build, and it is foggy. Again, I was pretty sure I had the fog, like, disabled in uh, the install. Huh. Any case, I will cut to the first point activating and see you there. Okay, we're surrounded. Alright, we are against... Okay, point blank longbow. Yeah, Ellerum, Ellerum 50 longbow, but we're point blank. Sorcerer, that's scary. Banshee. Um... Is that a primitive Banshee? 1200 armor seems really low for a Banshee. And it only has two weapons, so either those are very big, very scary weapons. Or... Ah, and also a Victor. With an AC-20, two medium lasers, and an SRM-4. Uh, yeah, let's move, brace. The 40% damage reduction is not going to do much on a Locust, but... Better than nothing. Okay. So. They have not acted, which means they still have spawn protection. Ready for orders. Oh man, this is so dangerous. I'm gonna have so much hesitation next round. But I really need to just like let them take a turn so I can actually hit with anything. Okay. Also, that's a thumper turret. I need to not stand right beside my enemies. 
Okay, we got a PPC and missiles doing two damage each. Interesting. Um, nice try. So, clan LRMs? No, MRM-40. Ah. A pair of MRM-40s. That's actually very scary. I think that needs to go first. AC-20 on the Banshee. Okay. <laughs> Alright, these guys have some very big, very scary pinpoint. Alright. Alright, the AC-20 did not hit our Hunchback in the rear. Tell me what you need. Everything is going according to plan. Uh, yeah, you're gonna act last so that hopefully you can crit somebody out. Um, like I said, this sorcerer is really the highest priority target, but I have nobody that can get behind him. Whereas this Victor, we can very easily get behind him. And we will absolutely sprint for six On and cover and shoot him in the back. While also bringing the C3 online against him and everything. Cool. Alright. Structure is exposed. Um, we can shoot and then move with a little bunny, but we do not have a back strike. So we're going to try jumping over here. 63s and 56. 69s and 63. Weird. I don't know why the hit chance is better, but I'm glad it's better. Hey, we got the tag. Nice. Hey there. Alright, Paradox is the only chance we have at killing the Sorcerer, Good but he is not in range. Okay, well then. That is a punch, that is a punch. Ah, we don't have vision to the Sorcerer, I see. Okay. Well, we're going to do the thing where we, you know, punch in Daka. Heading up. And we're going to hope uh, for some good work on the Banshee. Head punch. One left start. All right. That was a clean <laughs> head punch. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, again, I really like the idea of getting behind him. Yeah. No need to tell me twice. I know I'm kind of grouping up away from the longbow, so not able to underrun. Not able to underrun its uh, minimum range, but hopefully, if I don't shoot it, it continues focusing turrets, what just happened? Wait, what? What? <laughs> um, he was completely fresh. Somehow, the point defense with nothing but machine guns got an ammo explosion on the biggest threat on the board. Yes, I hear you. Better lucky than good. Uh, now let's let's go ahead and get right up in here. And Sounds good. I'm hopefully moving. we kill. And I'm actually going to go Vigilance so that if we don't kill, I can get Evasion. And if we do kill, I can get closer to the Longbow. Alright. Beautiful. Man, those miniguns are so down. good. The miniguns are just so good. Just being able to crit people out. All right. Reading loud and clear. Um, he's open on the left side, so we are going to run in on the left side. Again, underrun his minimum range, so he can't effectively shoot the locust. And maybe we get a crit with the machine gun or the minigun. Amazing. Miniguns are so good! 
like the crit chance is so high. Okay. It's amazing. Okay. So that's the first point done. So yeah, we can we can basically jump with the little bunny the same distance we can move and get one additional evasion. Alright. That's situationally useful, I guess. What do you need? Anyway, I will I will move to the next point being activated, or cut to it, and I will see you there. Right, also, I wanted to see Siege Mode. Siege Mode Jumping, I see. So yeah, you can only jump directly up and then back down in Siege Mode, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely dropping the jump jets off of uh, Little Bunny. Which means I also need a better name. <laughs> Uh, it was it was worth a try. It was worth the test. All right, go ahead and activate the point. I should have actually waited to activate the other two until I saw whether this was a defend base. Okay, trap. All right. Yeah, that's what I started positioning for anyway. Uh, okay, that's a cascatel. That's scary. LRM Igor with an LRM 40. A Mad Cat Mark II. Double Goss, double MRM 10, quadruple ER medium, and then an Ontos. Alright, um. Well, the good news is we don't have to worry about keeping buildings alive. The bad news is everything else. Oh boy. Alright, uh, yeah? I'll make it happen. Yeah. This is a little bit risky. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully the turrets don't get turned on against this as well. Because I think... Um, Alright. I'm not going to complain. I am not going to complain in the least. If they want to fire indirectly at our allied turrets way over there. Yeah. Like I said, Cascatel. Scary. Very scary. Hey. Alright. Uh, little Bunny can shoot and then move. 50s and 30. A tag is pretty good. Okay. Firing everything. But the tag did not hit. And now we can only move one hex because of... Or no, we can move one and a half hexes because... Yeah, siege mode. All right. There. Okay. That's fine. Waiting at that the is fine. Uh, crab can shoot and then move. Tell me what to shoot. All right. The reason I'm not attacking the Mad Cat is because I intend for... Paradox to handle the Mad Cat. And... Yeah, sure. I know I'm lining up with the Locust for stray shots, but ideally the Locust is not going to be there much longer. Alright, definitely turning off the Supercharger. And I think we'll drop enough stability just moving. I don't think I need to Vigilance. And we're going to get braced because we're, you know, punching. Engage. Come on. Okay, half a Mad Cat down. Full Mad Cat down. Beautiful. That's a kill. Oh, it's a Mad Cat Mark II that did not get a turn. Commander. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to I'm not gonna try to poke at the Ontos. I'm going to try to take down the Cascatel. Um, yeah. Affirmative. Seven, cover, and shot on the Cascatel's open side, or almost open side. Roger. Sounds like a plan. Boom. Not a boom. Okay, looks like we need the Locust to come in and finish it off as well. As we have been doing this entire game, or this entire battle. Although the Antos does get to act before... Okay, we're fine. Ooh, are we fine? Uh oh. I'm in trouble. Standing by. Yeah, looks like. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. It's fine. We should be able to kill the Cascatel here. Should. All right. Beautiful. Now, do we have initiative? I should have absolutely gone vigilance on somebody. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so they do have the turrets as well. That's problematic. Um. Yeah, okay. So the LRMs might continue firing indirectly at the turrets off in the distance. This Ontos has its back to us. LRM turret, Gauss rifle turret, that needs to go. Okay. That, that is the priority target. Absolutely, 100%. That is what we shoot. Alright. Oh, Gauss replacement needs to go. Yeah, the Igor I knew was going to get another turn. Doing nothing. What can I do for you? I will take it. Oh man, but the Antos... Yeah, we just don't have a good hit chance. He has 5 evasion. And a ton of armor. Okay. Right, Commander. Firing there. Love seeing 90s miss. <laughs> oh, absolutely adore when 90s miss. Alright. It's fine. It's fine. Good to go. Um... Uh, Yeah, we're gonna come over here, have our right side to the enemies. Question mark. Okay, if we lose the left, we lose our claws. But that's it. If we lose our right, we lose lower melee punch, spiked fist, and the AC-20 Mydrin. So no, I think I continue facing the enemies head on and let the damage hopefully get spread. Alright, smack, smack, and then daka daka boom. Beautiful. Oh, there's only three turrets. Cool. What's the other one? Double AC-20 quick sell. What? No. Got it. Got it. Alright, uh, yeah, we're gonna jump... Yeah, because we can't shoot from here. So we're going to jump for six. Sounds great. Present them with a very mobile target. And if I can get the Goss down, I think the Hunchie's out of range of the other, the, the double AC-20 quick cell turret. Or the double, double AC-20 quick cell turret. Antos is not going to have line of sight to... Ow. Okay. Like I said, I prefer the hits to go there. I'm listening. I absolutely prefer for the hits to go there. Alright. Locust. Three. Probably not gonna help at all, but... Copy that. Nope. Not enough. Okay, the Goss missed. Like I said, hopefully the... Uh-oh. Okay. Alright, it was not out of range of our Hunchback. Okay. Tell me what you need. Kamea. Kamea is going to wait. That's the most defensive we can possibly be with the Locust, and hopefully she can finish something off with her miniguns, because other than that, she doesn't have much use. Uh-oh. Boom. Mm-hmm. Alright. Damage critical. I think... I think we kill the turret. I think we killed the turret here. We really, we need to take these things down as fast as possible. 
Boom. Boom. Okay. That's a that's a four hundred core. Standing by. Um. Yeah. Again, Kamei is gonna wait to try to finish something off. Ether. Please hit everything. Thank you. I need to take that turret down. ASAP. Absolutely ASAP. And I don't know why I'm lining up for stray shots from the Ontos. That's a terrible idea. Also, where's my Thumper turret ally? Like, we're definitely in range of a Thumper. Oh, man. Do we lose Hunchy here? Critical hit. Critical hit. If we can kill this turret, I think our Hunchy is Receive. safe. But we have to kill the turret. If it shoots at Hunchy and hits a single one of its four AC-20 rounds, we definitely lose a lot. Here. Come on. All right. Unfortunately, copy. That's not enough. You have my attention. And this is our last hope. Oh, 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 oh. We can reach it with the hybrid TSM. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Only with a charge, though. Oh, nope. There we go. There we go. Here goes. Kamea for the win. Kick. Nice. Hit, hit. That's, that should be the armor gone. Crits. Uh, not a crit. Or at least not the crit I needed. Not an ammo crit, specifically. But it drew fire. Worth absolutely worth also absolutely terrifying having four AC 20 rounds flying past the locust but matter I absolutely get out of here 100% I try to break line of sight to the Ontos I Go Vigilance, and I EWS ping. Sensors locked on. Okay. Turret needs to go down. So does the Ontos. The Eeyore seems to just be doing nothing. Okay. I mean, that's fairly accurate. I'm under heavy fire here. That would only be four evasion. I'm not willing to only have four evasion there. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start work on the Ontos with Untouchable. Hopefully, hopefully we can deal with this without Hunchy getting you know threatened. All right, once again, shoot, fire. Not a boom. Okay. That looked like All a right. critical hit. Sure. Might what as well use them while we got them. Yeah, you know what? Hey, buddy! Behind you! Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I was really hoping for two hits. Yes, I hear you. Um, I do not need to kick this time. This should kill. Location confirmed. If this doesn't kill, we're still in trouble. Okay. Target destroyed. All right. We're not out of the woods yet, but looking promising. 
Uh oh. Okay. I'm loose. They've destroyed Ouch. one of my weapons. Ouch. Receiving you. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm actually gonna reserve with Hunchy. Because we might be able to punch the Ontos depending on where it moves exactly. Oh wow, those hit chances. Uh Okay. If it's the hit chances I got, it's the hit chances I take. Targeting for an alpha strike. Alright. That's a start. Antos is continuing to focus on Touchable. Cool. I mean, it's not cool that he's actually hitting, Reporting. but... Minimal death. Ready. Copy. Yeah. So, I'm actually going to Vigilance Punchy here. So that we hopefully have initiative next round. Got it. Which will allow us to punch him. I hear ya. With our cockpit hot seat active. And unfortunately here. The damage we've done is to his back. Going turbo. Actually, wait, I can offensive push and shoot him in the back, right? Yeah, 6.2%. You know what? All weapons. Worth a shot. Minus two initiative next round, that's it. I was expecting quite a lot more. Coordinates received. I was expecting quite a lot more. Locking in all weapons. Boom. Beautiful. Okay. Tango down. Reading All right. And clear. Kamea, you just just go. Just run. Affirmative. Get out. Yep. Yeah. It's finally time to decommission the locust. I can't believe it didn't die. It's go time. I really can't believe it didn't die. All right. Supercharger off. Cockpit hot seat on. And a punch to the rear should seal the deal. Position confirmed. Unless it misses. Uh oh. Failed to connect. Still good enough. All right, still good enough. Back. Okay. Who? Successful. All right, quick six hundred eighty thousand. We did get a little messed up there. Uh, unfortunately, we did lose the claws, but everything else is fine. We don't have any spare claws. We don't have any spare... Oh, we do, apparently, have spare claws. Okay. Cool. Nice. I'm actually thrilled to hear that. Untouchable, just doing untouchable things. And our locust... We lost ER Medium, Clan Doubles, Tag, the C3I I'm actually really sad to have lost. That's... Wait. No, no, no. The C3 Master is the really good one. Yeah, yeah. C3 Master is the really good one. C3I, the extra tonnage is mostly just for range. It still has the sensor ping of 1, the you know, visibility sensor, etc, etc. It's just, it's a bigger circle. That's why that's 2.5 instead of 1 ton. Alright. Full Banshee. We can't take it. Um, four parts of a Mad Cat Mark II that we cannot take. Yep, that's unfortunate. Uh, we got Heavy Rack 2s, which are actually very interesting. 720 meter range. Can do up to... A <clears throat> Excuse me, can do up to 150 damage each for 12 tons. But, 7% jam chance per shot, that's 42% at time 6. And recoil of 1 per shot, which is 6 recoil at time 6. 
But man... Okay, MRM-40, absolutely taking that. We have good MRM ammo. Now we have an MRM-40 launcher. Uh... AC-2 fire control system. I believe that functions with Rack 2s. I believe that functions with the heavy Rack 2s. Don't quote me on that, but I think it does. But we can do better. And, oh wow, okay. That's good. I'm happy with that. Uh, I would love NSS instead of just standard stealth. Uh, Goss Double Bin, we already have two. Heavy Rack 5, or not Heavy Rack 5, Heavy Rack 2 Double Bin. Which we'd actually, we would absolutely need a Heavy Rack 2 Double Bin to run even just one Heavy Rack 2. MRM improved, we have seven. Yeah, like I said, we have good MRM ammo. Um... We have 10 bins of Artemis LRM. Yeah, I think we take a heavy rack too. Alright. Got a heavy rack 2 and heavy rack 2 ammo. Cool. Get some parts we're gonna scrap, some more parts we're gonna scrap, some more parts we're gonna scrap. We get an AC-20. Eh. We get a Gauss rifle. Okay. We get both heavy rack 2s. Nice. Unfortunately, we're going to need more than a double bin to run both of them. LRM-5, we already have seven. Small laser magna. Sure. Basic cockpit. The patchwork, which is cool to see. Eight bins of just standard AC-20 ammo. No, thank you. Uh, I will take the Gauss ammo, and like I said, we only have the one heavy Rack 2 bin, so we're only going to be able to run one. Also getting rid of the Sam. But yeah, four bins of Artemis SRM. Sure. Okay. Alright, so 127,000 C bills to repair. Yeah, that's uh, that's fine. Um, we are immediately. Oops, not engineering. We are immediately gonna well, go in. Spin, stop work on the Locust. It it has done well. I'm proud of you, little guy. Now go in the blender. Which then allows us to ready up our Ostrok. Sure cool. Uh. At this point, the Ostrock. I'm happier with the Wyvern than I am with the Phoenix Hawk. Mostly in order of tonnage. There we go. Yeah, the only exception to the in order of tonnage is the Stormcrow and Hunchback, because they're special. Alright. Yeah, that's that. Let me check record time. Uh, we're at 42 minutes, and I don't actually have enough time to do another full mission at half an hour or so. So I think I'm going to call it there for the day. Next time... We're going to jump on, we're going to drop on this Five Skull Assassinate, and then from there we're going to figure out what to do. Maybe travel for another uh, Flashpoint or something. I don't know. But for now, that's been your episode of Rogue Tech for the day. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, have a good one.